Hey guys, my name is Jake Antelis. I'm a music producer and mix engineer. And today I'd like to go over another product from Source Elements called Source Connect Now, which you can get to by going to now.sourceelements.com, which I'll link in the description of this video. And basically what it lets you do is in a Chrome browser, it lets you have both a two-way chat. Um, so if you're doing like podcasting or, you know, if you want to record voice over the internet uh, for like a radio station or voice talent, podcasters, or if you're a filmmaker, and, you know, it's it's really fantastic and it's free on the basic level right now. Uh, but further down the line, they're going to offer, you know, subscription plans for further features. Uh, but pretty much you can chat with up to 10 people, record it. Actually, there's actually a talkback feature to, like, meet your talkback so there's no feedback. And you can also route it, say, from Pro Tools with an additional plugin that I'll go over quickly called Source Nexus Basic and Source Nexus Pro which essentially allows you to send audio to and from any application. So you can send from Pro Tools or Logic out and in um, to Source Now. So like say stream a mix from Pro Tools and hear it in Source Now, or to record a talent from Source Now into Pro Tools. And it basically has very low latency bi-directional audio. So it's super quick. It's almost like being on the phone as far as quickness. You can choose up to 512 stereo, low latency, easy recording in the actual app, which is a web app based in Chrome. And you can send mono or stereo. Um, it's really easy to make a connection. You can also do a chat as a talkback mode. You can also check your network status. And as I said before, you can add up to 10 people. So 10 connections and it defaults to five connections. And here's what the interface looks like. I already have it set up using the Nexus, which we discussed briefly. So I have it set to 512. And my source, which is my input, which is what I want people to hear, whether it's a microphone or an input, is basically Source Nexus A, which I have set in Pro Tools to essentially stream someone to mix and talk to them at the same time, which I'll show you guys soon. And then the output is just how do I want to hear it, which I have set to default. And as you can see here, it's a pretty straight up interface. I just have two set up here. I have my laptop, which is here. So you see my voice popping up. You don't really hear me from this. You hear me from actually my uh, studio and I'm recording it separately just for this video. And this is actually me. And what I'm doing here is I'm sending just audio from Pro Tools, which right now is off. But let's actually go through some controls. So you have your gain control, pan, if you, and how loud you want to monitor. There's a built-in recorder. You just hit this record button, and it starts recording your session. So if you're having a meeting with 10 people or a podcast, and you want to record it in a really easy interface without getting anything else, using everyone's built-in mics or you know iPhone headphones or anything that's you know decent quality, USB microphone or getting fancier and going into like your system and using your interface and using something like Nexus from the same company to route, you know, fancier audio into this. That works great as well. And there's also this push to talk under recorder. So what it enables you to do is essentially have your mic off on the podcast until you want to talk and you could control it by shift. So right now it's closed. If I take shift off, it's open. And if you click it, it works in reverse. So right now it's closed. If I hit shift, it'll be open just like that. And that's, that's really as simple as that. And there's also a chat box, so you can say hey to people in text while you're chatting, or if you want to discuss something on the podcast without mentioning it or giving it away, you can type it there and the people will see it, and then you could discuss that topic. So it's very simple, super handy, and let's check the text. Yeah, it's super fast as well. And one thing I'd say about this compared to Source Live, which I did in a previous video, is that there's a lot less latency. So the quality is definitely decent. Source Live is definitely a drop better because it has more time to pass through and whatever it's based on the technology that it's built on. But this this I also use for like vocal sessions if someone wants to hear a singer that's recording remotely in my studio and they're say in another place. I like this over Source Live, although I use Source Live as well for that because it has less less latency and it's a little easier for, for uh, communication. So that's pretty much this app and let's just show you that it works. I'm gonna actually play uh, something in Pro Tools and you'll see that it'll pop through here. And I'll show you how I set that up. So in Pro Tools, you're gonna to go to the inserts and you're gonna go down to Source Elements and Source Nexus AX is the plugin that installs when you install their uh, application. Which again is separate from now. You don't need this for now to work, but if you wanna route Pro Tools to it, then you need something like this. So, you know, Source, I mean, this is uh, Source Nexus Pro. And pretty much all you gotta do is set to send what what you want it to, you know, they pretty much give you 24 ins and outs in Source Nexus. So I just have it set to one and two. It's essentially like a virtual driver interface. So 
It's not going to feed back or anything, but of course, if you're receiving audio also, you're not going to want to set that to, to uh, the same channels, and they actually block it out, because otherwise you just get feedback. Because when you send audio to audio, and it's the same thing, it feeds back, and people are not happy. So yeah, definitely don't do that. Um, you can want to hit this through, and if you hit play... So as you can see, that is showing up there, and you see me talking on my laptop, which is here. The audio is getting here, so I can hear it. And again, uh, source is Nexus A, which I just showed you how to set up in Pro Tools. Super simple. That's all I did, and that's instant instantly works. But if you just want to stream like iTunes or something, then you can set it to your default. But the problem is, is that default is just for input, so it's usually like a microphone. Output is usually like what you're, um, you know, output is essentially like what you're hearing from your computer. Of course, you can also plug in a microphone into Pro Tools or whatever app, so you can send your audio and talk to them through the same input, which is Nexus A. So again, you can record on this, you can add up to 10 people, you can you know, you know, can you can select your quality, which I'm doing best right now, you can do mono, stereo, and of course, like to add people to the call, which I didn't actually cover, you click invite here, and you, know, you can pretty much type the guest name and email, or just copy and paste this link to them, they'll join. And this is something, of course, you do before the call, but since I already had it set up, I was showing you how I'm using it, but of course, you have to invite them. Otherwise, they're not going to know. And you can select a preset for them. That'll show up when they click it. But of course, they can set this in their end as well for how, you know, the quality is that they want to listen to. And you could also include your passkey so that way they know what it is. They don't have to ask you or you don't have to type it separately in the email. It's really simple to use and I definitely check them out. And again, it's now .sourceelements.com, which I'll link in the description. And you could record live, which I've just did for four or five minutes, which I'll stop now. And you could just download it to your computer like I just did. Super simple. And... You know, it's, it's a cool tool. So again, it's for, you know, if you want to do uh, chat online or podcasting recording or to stream like audio or Pro Tools sessions. And I will likely do a further video on the Nexus um, plugin because you can route any app to any app on that. So there's a lot of scenarios where that would be used and there's some cool things you could do with it. So I figure for, for this video, I would show just source now and not overwhelm everyone with too many products. But I figured I'd point it out because I do use it sometimes to stream audio, not just my voice, but actually Pro Tools sessions. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see any other future things in videos. And if you're not subscribed already to my channel, please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.